guys so like we promised today we are here in four ways not far from rambeck we are here with one of your favorite musicians we don't know if he's a musician or rapper today you're going to find out man we have simomo simomo how are you doing i'm good i'm good i'm good what is the meaning of simomo simomo um <laughs> is, it, is it your real is it a real name or is it just a stage name actually it's a stage name hey my real name is simeon er you know i started doing music from secondary school and all of a sudden friends just started calling me Simomo, Simomo, you know. Then I just decided, okay, I think I should just adopt the name. That's proper. So when did all this musical thing started? Is it did it started here in South Africa or it started way back in Nigeria? When did it start? It started way back in Nigeria. I've been doing music uh, even while I was studying back home. It's been music, music. When I came to South Africa to also study, I decided to just, you know, keep doing my thing, music. So it's been from way back. That's proper, man. So guys, yeah, there you have it, man. The man of Simomo, it's out already. <laughs> so so far, um, who are the main artists that you featured out there? Like, let's say the top. I know you've featured a lot of people. But who will you say these are the top guys that I've worked with so far? I've worked with quite a um, lot of beautiful, you know, nice guys. I've worked with the likes of um, Endo. I've worked with... Um, who is from? Is it, is it a Nigerian or South African? Nigerian artist based here. You know, proper rap artist. You know, I've worked with T.T. Brown. And I've um, worked with um, a few South um, African artists, you know. I've worked with Hayes, a very beautiful producer that used to work with me. A very beautiful rapper that you should also look out for. He's a DJ. I've worked with few Congolese guys like Frenchie, worked with uh, Marcus Adaway, also worked with, um, you know, a lot of, lot and lot and lot of people, man. A whole lot, man. Recently, I think I saw one of the videos on channel, if I'm not mistaken. I think you were busy with the mastering and the other guy was singing. I, don't, I forgot the name of the person, but it was playing on channel all over. All over channel. So among all the tracks that you've released out there, which of the tracks will you say no? This is the one that brought the brand out there. This is a hit for me. Which of the tracks? I'm sure there might be that particular one. You know, um, I think Ikebi, because um, I released Ikebi in 2018. You know, it's a song that I've actually had, you know, under my pillow. And, you know, a few friends of mine came to my place and they were like, Simomo, what the hell is wrong with you? Why don't you release this song again? You know, just like... Uh, a little charts play we decided okay let's have a video for this song i dropped the song and it was played on 52 channels across africa and uh, you know the song just came out and it became a household song that was playing and you know taking me around africa for shows and all that then after i came here, i dropped jones in and jones in put me on the spot put me on you know top 10 um countdown songs on channel O, and it actually made it to number one and um it was stopping TV stations in South Africa. It was actually topping it, you know. Uh, it was on number one spot for like six weeks. And it actually got me, yeah, an award for the most played music video in South Africa. So, a whole lot, man. Looks like you, you've been doing a whole lot, man. So, um, currently, now we are in 2020. Who are the artists in the industry? It can be South Africa or Nigeria. Who are you actually aiming to future or collaborate in one of your tricks currently yeah i'm actually looking into doing something with casper yeah because of that street vibe that he actually carries you know and why why people casper casper why not aka i mean there's boma lumekuke ko but why casper aka is very good no doubt but um you know looking at the fact that um Presently, Casper is actually giving me those, you know, those kind of uh, 
street vibe that is actually you know catching people's attention in the music where you know there's really nothing bad um, about AK, KO and all that but right now I'm just thinking of doing something with Casper then there's this lady too that I really want to do something with Boosie Boosie, Boosie, I've been calling that girl for interview. Uh, Boosie, one disappoint. Tamara, you know what? <laughs> Did you invite her already or are you trying to get her? I, I, I really have been busy because uh, recently I just dropped my album and I'm still just trying to see what's up with my sales and also also trying to drop a video for my you know, album song, Turn by Turn. So life has been very busy and as you can see i've been touring around the whole country doing shows here and there and you know so basically i haven't really had time but she's actually on my book and I, you know boozy does i'm a piano kind of you know those straight vibes do you think your type of lyrics and the tracks you do can also rhyme with boozy's type of music i'm a producer bro so um with i'm a piano i think I'm just trying to see if I can infuse an Afro, I'm a piano kind of thing that would just, you know, get out there and shock the world. You know, I have something in my head that is actually playing, and I know if we do something together, it's really going to pop. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's Boosie, Boosie. Boosie, I've been trying to send her messages, what email, WhatsApp, even when I call, she doesn't, I don't know what's Abra. That's why I said South Africa, South Africa, everything in connection. You've worked with City before, right? Yeah, City. Yeah, he's my friend. Are you guys still vibing together or it's like uh, this high, high, long distance thing? Um, I think everybody is busy in a way, you know, and um, city, busy, also busy. But sometimes we still, you know, get to talk on the phone and just you know, check on each other. You know, we're cool. I had an interview with him recently and I'm sure you, should, you saw a bit or even if not full, you saw a bit. He was mentioning names about Nigerians who don't value what what and they don't pay when he, he does collaboration and beats. Isn't it? He also produce. Yeah. So he's saying you guys do not actually pay. I mean, it's like you guys are pulling back when he works for you guys. Let me not say you, but in general, I mean, if you watch the interview, you will understand what he said. Well, what is your take? I mean, do you think what he said makes a point or prove a point? Um... To me, what I really was um, a little bit concerned about was the fact that he mentioned that Nigerian artists don't have values in South Africa. That was really what I saw that became a little bit... I mean, that was just a caption. Uh, in the video, you're not sure if he said that or... That's why I normally I say, did he say that in the... Yeah, I saw that in the video. I saw that. <laughs> it was vivid. And uh, I was really, like... You know, I, I was. It was overwhelming. You know, hearing somebody from Ghana, you know, a Western African boy, you know, say that about Nigerian artist, it really, 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 you know, pinched me, and I felt, you know, it wasn't really making sense. I'm sorry about that, because I don't know the kind of Nigerian artist he meets in South Africa, you know, and I don't know what he really thinks. But to me, Nigerian artists in South Africa are doing very, very well. Because we are the only ones here that are actually, you know, raising. I specify. I mean, very well in terms of musically, or of course, according to him, he was talking about finance, like in terms of money, whereby they do not pay well. That was his point. Yeah, I also run a music production company, you know, because we actually do the same business. And I do understand that there are sometimes that challenges actually comes, you know. And, and it was a little bit insensitive of him to just generalize, you understand? Because there are people who understand the business and there are people who don't understand the business. I've done a few songs with CT myself and I paid him completely and I even gave him... You have a song with CT? Yeah, I, like, I did a few. So The first song I released in South Africa was actually produced by CT. You know, I had a, a video for that song and I, it was done by CT Mixed recorded and produced by CD. It was a very good song, actually, and it really popped, you know? I even also linked CD to a few Nigerian artists that he has actually worked with, and he has never complained to me that they didn't pay him, but I don't know the kind of people he does things with, because I don't know, I think he has his own people, and I have my own people, but I just didn't like the fact that he generalized, and that was just my bone of contention. <laughs> Yeah, guys, so that is it from Simomo, man. I mean, a producer, a musician. What was the event in Cape Town? How was it? I mean, you were performing, right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now basically it's like you you do more of the music than the producing. Don't you think you, you drain away from the pr- production thingy than the music? Yeah, the thing is uh, that I run a production company doesn't mean I'm always going to be the one to just play and all that. I have workers. I have like 16 of them. So they usually come for their sections. And when people are coming to record, I always have them working. And the only thing I do these days because of my busy schedule with music, I always just tutor them and tell them this is how it should go. This is this and this is, you know, the normal teamwork is what I do right now. But aside that, I've been doing a lot of recordings and I want my songs out there. That is the reason why I've been here and there. The song is already out there, man. All over Channel O, you see this guy. Check his face. If you see him on Channel O, just send me a message. <laughs> All over. Okay, so I'm talking of um, production and music. Aside those two, is there anything that you focus on or for now is those two? Or you also have other kind of, I mean, other source of income? Yeah, actually um, into um, cars, right? Then I'm also into housing, you know, and... Housing as buying and selling of houses. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, that's huge, man. Then you're rich, man. <laughs> no, no, I'm just. Uh, I, I thank God. You know, I'm not. I'm not rich and I'm not hungry. You know, so I'm into housing and um, into hotels and I'm still going to school. You know, because um, recently I decided to just go back to school and do my masters because I started before and I had to drop it because I had to focus on a few things. But now I think it's high time I go back. So there's a lot on my plate. Doing music, business, school, and everything. It's hectic. A whole lot. <laughs> and talking of um producing and all that, I'm not sure if you can give us a, I mean, a particular or specific figure, but estimating how much do you normally charge when you produce for an artist? Maybe there is an artist watching this who would like you to help him on a single track. So how much would you consider when you produce for them? Yeah, it actually depends on your... I work with budgets because I know how the music um, business is. It's not a thing that is really, really easy like that when you're coming up, when you're trying to, you know, get your thing down. You understand? So normally, it depends if I if I'm working with an artist that is, you know, a bit popping that I can see making money already. I'd go as far as five thousand. You know, then if I if I just see five thousand is just for the I mean producing. Or including everything and that's what I'm saying. I'm not charging too much. So the five thousand does not include um, the hyping of the song and all. That. No, no, no. It's just for your production, mixing, and mastering. I'm talking about top-notch production, top-notch production. Then, if you are upcoming and I see that, yeah, you're still, we can still do something for three thousand, and I'm still telling you top-notch production. You know, um, I think I'm very flexible. Basically, it all depends on. I mean, but you won't know if the artist is like upcoming. What if he didn't specify? He is there and he's still trying to be low key. We know him. You can't tell me you know all the artists in the industry. <laughs> Trust me, I know all the artists in the world. All the artists in the world, not just in the industry here. I'm talking about artists in the whole world. world. I do music. My life is music. I sleep and wake up next to music. It's music, 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 you know. So I know what's up, man. If I see you, I know you. Even if you're on the ground. <laughs> He say if, it's, if I see you, know, you didn't see me coming. <laughs> all, all right, so let's just put the music aside a bit. The incidents of the xenophobic attack and all that, did you ever experience such? Uh, you may be attacked or, I mean, been through all this kind of, I mean, I'm talking of the past experience. And all did you ever went through such? I think um, I've been attacked um, xenophobically through... Um, uh, should I say what? Okay. Yeah, like um, vocal xenophobic attacks. Let me just put it that way. But, you know, um, being attacked physically, I haven't really had that. But I've just, like, uh, come to realize that my brothers uh, and sisters, some of them, not all of them, um, don't just understand that we are both Africans. And the divides that um, this, I don't know, people are trying to bring in between us won't really help us. It's high time we come together. We've been struggling for years and years and years. It's been from the days of slavery and up to now, we don't seem to understand that we are the same. We have the same blood flowing in our veins. You know, it's just it's just a little bit of a thing of, you know, pain that my 
fellow brothers and sisters, a few of them that don't understand. And I would really want for uh, maybe uh, an educational uh, program to be passed around, you know, the continent, you know, talking about coming together, together of Africa, like togetherness of African people so that we can also understand ourselves. Because trust me, the cultures that we have here in South Africa, we have them in Nigeria, we have them in Ghana, and everywhere, we are like the same. It's just a little bit of you know, difference that just you know, separates us. But looking at how things are, trust me, we are all you know, brothers and sisters, and we should emulate that and just you know, learn how to coexist and you know, live together. But basically, the reason out there was... Um them putting out there where the Nigerians are dealing with drugs and all that. They said it's affecting their youth. That is the main reason why they were trying to come up with such. Don't you think that uh, type of thing is there, like it's real? Or don't you, do you think they just need an excuse to start up something? Mm, to me, I, I, think, I think this drug thing is a thing of... Um, I think it's a thing of everybody. I'd expand on that. You see, these Nigerians that are into these drug businesses or whatever, most of them don't even take these drugs. You know, then how do they tell your brothers and sisters to take it? Can you? I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. To me, I think it is the person that is trying to sell, and the person that is trying to sniff or smoke it that are both wrong True. do you understand because this person is selling to you he doesn't even take it you are the one craving for it and this guy is trying to sell so i think both people has to be blamed do you understand i think this thing of drug whatever is the way you parents handle and train your children if you train your kids and tell them how it is and um, ways that drugs actually destroy lives. I don't think they would want to patronize the stupid people that sell those drugs. I get your point. So basically you're saying it is, um, I, I mean, the problem is, is it from the buyer or the seller or it's just from both, of, both sides? I think it's from both sides. And don't get me wrong, it's not even only Nigerians that sell drugs. Lots of South Africans sell. But here, this, they, isn't it, they put the target on Nigerians because... For, yeah, every black person is a Nigerian. As long as you're a foreigner, you're a Nigerian. Whether Tanzania or that's what is out there. So that's what they put in the picture out there. I mean, that's why I'm like, is it an issue from the seller or the buyer? Because now we, we don't know. To me, I just think it's just um, a little bit of hate that I talked about the other time that we still don't understand each other. You know, and south africans my brothers and sisters here we just need to understand that we are the same irrespective of our, our nationalities or whatever it's just a normal divide everybody sells drugs both south africans both nigerians we just all have to come together to eradicate this drug menace because even me myself right here i don't even know how it looks like but i'm labeled as maybe a drug dealer because i'm a nigerian it's really really not good it's we all need to just, you know, sit down and, you know, think, emphasize and implement a solution that can actually work in a very long time, trying to stop this whole drug menace. That's proper, man. So a little bit of education, man. Aside music, man. We don't only talk of entertainment. We mix everything. If you know, you know. <laughs> party after party. <laughs> so let's, um, do you maybe have aims of maybe in the future, going back to Nigeria to continue, I mean, to finish up everything, or you want to make it full-time in SA? I'm definitely going to tour the world. You know, music for me is not, is not a thing that should be, you know, uh, should be stationed in a place. I'm a world musician. I'm doing it all around the world. It doesn't matter where I am or wherever you know, but wherever I am, I would always be doing music. But going to Nigeria now or staying in SA, I don't, it's not really, I don't even have, you know, an answer to that. You know, I'm just everywhere doing music. Wherever it leads me, I go. If it leads me to America, fine, I'm still going to do my music. This is my lifestyle. 
That's proper, man. And recently, you have an album out that well, is it? An, it came out this year or last year, 2019. It came out 2019, the 7th of December. It's titled Turn by Turn, and it's actually popping everywhere. So, where do the consumers get it, man? I see it all over here, man. I mean, where, where do we reach them? You can get them on iTunes. Uh, you can see them on Spotify. It's on. It's selling on all digital platforms. In SoundCloud. SoundCloud, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Any digital platform, you definitely friends. And what is the name that we type out there to get the album? Turn by Turn by Simomo. By Simomo, C M O M O. What about YouTube? Do you publish them on YouTube? Yeah, they're on YouTube. My songs are everywhere. It's everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. It's just for you to just go on Google, Simomo. Then it's going to bring up my page. Then you can always, you know, get what you want. That's proper, man. So there you have it. A producer, musician, entrepreneur, everything. Just name it. Yeah, we're not playing here. So um, do you maybe want to drop a handle or digit or emails or something in case someone who's watching this wants to reach you out? Do you, how do they reach you? Yeah, you can actually reach me at, at Simeon Real at S-I-M-E-O-N-R-E-A-L. Simeon Real. That's where you can find me on all social media handles. Type Simon Real and then to just pop out out there and then you just you just search for it whatever you want you you, you would do it production music everything which was yeah and I had you also promote um hype videos to channels and all that yeah I actually do plugins for all you know TV channels Is it only SA or even uh, both sides I, I do it for all African countries both Nigeria SA Kenya everywhere I plug on all TV stations across Africa. That's proper. So if you have a music out there and then you want it to be on set, I mean, I know a lot of people who have been shooting music video, but they don't get it on TV. Don't come asking me. This is the video. You <laughs> drop the digit everything. Just go online, search for Simon Real. You'll get everything. Just discuss anything with him. Strictly business. <laughs> Nothing more. <laughs> all right, man. Thank you very much for watching. Like we said, we always try to bring you the best. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm very hungry. Let me go and eat. Till we meet again. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah.